If you are anywhere around the south, come to Brainerd Motorsports Park in Ringo, Georgia tomorrow and see some wicked fast racing. Um, index racing, um, pro mods, uh, blown dragsters, the whole nine, everything will be there on the grounds at Brainerd Motorsports Park. If you're not doing nothing, come check it out. I think the gate's 20 bucks. It's well worth it. You get to see a lot of racing, potential track records, uh, personal best, that sort of thing. The weather is supposed to be pretty good for the event, so if you're not doing anything, come check it out. This weekend kicks off the season four No Prep Kings in Ohio, and while I'm not able to be there, there is going to be a lot of new stuff that is going to be unveiled, new cars, people bringing out stuff that they've had hid for a year and a half because of COVID and whatnot, but season four of No Prep Kings is kicking off as of today. Today is Friday, June 4th, and June 5th is the actual season opener, and as you can tell by the title of this video, Doc has finally unveiled his new car. It is a newer model Trans Am, kind of like the one Birdman wrecked or Scott Taylor's. There's several out there and they are proven fast. They are old, like pro street cars, NHRA type cars, and fiberglass tube chassis car. It does fall within the rules for no prep kings and a lot of the no prep races, so we know the car is going to be fast. It will be a nitrous car. Um, he did take the, the, the power plant, the street beast, it survived. Put it into this one, the 959 will be on the grounds at Ohio tomorrow for the season opener of No Prep Kings. He is testing today and he just unveiled the car yesterday. He is calling the new car Stunt Double. It is the same color blue as the Street Beast was and there might have been people who knew, you know, YouTube people who knew what he was building. I didn't know until yesterday when he unveiled the car. It's a good looking car. He said that it was a lot nicer from the picture than it was when you get up on it. It is wrapped blue. I don't know if the wrap's covering up, you know, what he's talking about, but it looks like it's going to be a wicked fast race car. With Doc, he has the experience. There will be a learning curve, but he will be on the grounds for the Invitational of No Prep King Season 4. So, can't wait to see kind of how that plays out. I know a lot of people will be there posting videos, so we will get to see how the car runs. He is shaking it down today, and we'll be there tomorrow just to kick it off. With that being said, there's a lot of new cars going to be there. As we've all been curious to know about Ryan Martin's new car, I mean, he's posted tons of videos of the car running, but he hasn't publicly come out with a name yet. I even asked Ryan Martin at an event last year. He said that it wasn't named. I feel like he just didn't want the information out there, but the car wasn't named. Um, he will be making passes, or he will be racing it this weekend in Ohio as well. The next big announcement. Kamikaze will also be in Ohio racing another car. It is a old Chevy 2 Nova. Good looking car. He will be running it for No Prep Kings because he hasn't got his Corvette done according to what he wanted to do with it. It's a borrowed car but he will be there as well. One of the bigger, what I consider one of the bigger things is Eric Bain has brought out a new car. It's a like a C7 Corvette for No Prep Kings and this thing looks like a radial car to me a uh, big single turbo deal, um, Proline, Hemi, uh, of course, but he will be there with a the new car, and I don't really kind of get that one. I don't know if he sold um, the Boosted Ego, the split bumper Camaro. I don't know if he sold it or what, but he will be there in a new car for No Prep Kings. I don't know if his is a No Prep car and the other one's a street car or what, but to my knowledge, he still has all three of them. He still got the original Boosted Ego, the small tire Mustang, and he had it for sale at one time. It would be an awesome radio car, but he will be there with the car that is on the screen. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. It looks like it would be a radio versus a world car to me, but it is what it is. He will be racing it in No Prep King Season 4. Somehow it fit in the rules. Um, fiberglass and urethane bodies are allowed if that's what the car comes from factory with. That is how 
the Corvettes and the Firebirds and the Camaros and all that make it because that's what they come from factory with. So he made it in. Um, there is a lot of new cars that are going to be unveiled. Too bad it's in Ohio and I can't make it, but I think the second or third race, I think it's the third race, is at South Georgia Motorsport Park. I do plan on being there, provided nothing comes up between now and then. But I did want to throw this video out there um, for one. Brainerd tomorrow. If you're not doing nothing, come check it out. All of the new cars. The biggest thing in this video was Street Beast or Doc with the stunt double. He's calling it, and I want to know your thoughts on it. Um, is he did he jump in too quick and buy the first thing he found and try to turn it into the Street Beast, or what's your thoughts on it? The last thing that I do want to mention is fastest cars in the Dirty South has been greenlit for a season three and it will be coming out next summer. I'm assuming that they are starting filming pretty quick. I haven't talked to Eric and them. I will see Brad tomorrow, but if anybody has watched or follow any of them, you kind of know what's going on there, so I don't know what all information I'll be able to get or that I'll be able to release. So, they are greenlit for season three, nevertheless. So, look forward to that. But, a lot of things are coming. A lot of Stuff is going to be flying all over social media the next two or three days in the drag racing world. So stay tuned to some of these guys who follow and, you know, see what they are posting. There's people who has got invites and people who are doing this and that that kind of I don't really get. Um, Johnny Quick got a invitation for No Prep Kings and Dwayne Mills couldn't get one. You know, there's a few things that I don't understand how people can get into certain things and they can't not taking anything at all away from some of these guys but I don't really get it that's all I have really have for this video I have another video that is about the America's list but this one is really current and I wanted to get this out as quick as possible so there you go there's you a ton of information in seven or eight minutes so hope you enjoyed it if you are new to the channel subscribe People who are subscribing now, I plan on doing a giveaway very soon. People who are already subscribed will also be entered as well. So, giving two different things away, previous subscribers and new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Godspeed. I will see you in the next video.